is talking about a two-state solution. In fact, Antony Blinken says that this is the only thing that will ensure enduring peace. Do you believe this is something which is possible? You know, the United States deploying in a big way in this region in response to this current conflict and pushing the idea of a two-state solution are not mutually contradictory at all. Uh, the United States has always talked about a mutually sustainable, uh, uh, you know, two-state solution. Uh, they've supported statehood for Palestine, even though they are, big, uh, the, you know, Israel's biggest ally and there's no ambiguity as far as that is concerned. But Joe Biden has an election coming up. Uh, you know, he, uh, as far as his re-election campaign, he still wants to be seen as that, uh, you know, stable uh, leader who can, uh, you, you know, who can uh, navigate and guide America and the world through many crises. He's al also always, uh, uh, you know, he's already under a huge amount of pressure as a result of America's involvement uh, in the Ukraine war. Uh, but the, you know, the carrier battle groups deployed in the region, that's very much about American safety as well. That is about deterrence against Iran. It's pointed directly at Iran uh, to basically tell them, do not even think about escalating or getting involved in this directly because at the end of the day the united states has a great deal to lose uh, not just in terms of uh, you know not just in terms of uh, all of its bases being targeted in the areas and we've already seen an exchange between us forces and uh, syria uh, over the last 48 hours but the us can ill afford being embroiled in another west asian crisis and if the balloon goes up if iran gets in some way directly involved uh, you know, in the wake of a full-scale ground invasion of Gaza by Israel, it's going to be disastrous as far as the United States is concerned, insofar as the fact that the U.S. doesn't want to get involved in another regional uh, upheaval and conflict, and it will be forced to do so. So that really is the point. It's about deterrence and nothing else.